What's going on guys? It's Kyle and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to Ooh, whoa, what is going on? Yo, okay, nurse lady. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to take your character from looking like this to this. Now, I know you're thinking, right? Like my girl always had a wide face, but like this is a bit much, and I agree. Now, in this game, stress res doesn't actually give you any more vertical FOV. It actually only takes horizontal FOV away. But this is a good way. If you guys aren't running this game at consistent frames and you guys want to be able to just get a little bit more out of your PC and you feel like that could be something that's holding you back, say if you're not capping at your 144 or you're struggling to run this, this will vastly help keep your frames up. Now this is 10, camera. this one's like 1028 by, or sorry, 1280 by 1024. This is the stress res that this is. I can, I'm going to put a list of different stress reses on the bottom, but now I'm going to show you guys how to actually do this stress res. Okay, so we head over to our desktop monitor. You're going to right click on it anywhere. I'm gonna make sure you're just not clicking on an icon and go NVIDIA control panel. After loading up NVIDIA control panel, first thing you wanna go is to adjust desktop size and position. So when you go here, you wanna have make sure you are, your scaling size is on full screen. You wanna make sure your perform scaling on GPU. Override the scaling mode is off. And then you can see your resolution. This will just normally be 1920 by 1080. You can see that's my current. It just says this because when I tabbed out, that's what I closed the game on was 1600 after switching my resolution. So I'm now gonna to go to change resolution. So the way you add a custom resolution is after clicking your monitor, make sure your Hertz is up. You always want to make that out of two monitors. Up. This one is the one I play on, the 240. So now what you want to do is you want to come down here to your resolutions. And this would be the majority of your resolutions all up here. The base canvas resolutions, which are 16 by nine and 16 by 10 aspect ratio. You want to hit customize. You want to enable resolutions not exposed by the display. You can see there's different ones here. Then I want to hit create custom resolution. So for this video, I'm going to make a 1154 by 1080 custom resolution. And then you want to have your refresh rate set to 144. Scan type progressive. And the rest you can leave at automatic. And it'll set everything else. You hit test. And you can hit yes. That way it will save. So after hitting uh, yes, it will save. Now you can see I have a custom resolution at the very top. And I'm going to hit OK. Now you can see my blood hunt is loading up and it's loading up in 1024 by 1080. So I'm still a little thick. So now we're going to check. We're going to go to graphics, basic. Now I put in 1154 by 1080. So we're going to keep going to the side until we see my number pop up. 1154 by 1080. We're going to hit apply. Keep the changes. Yes. Confirm. Now you can see, we're even now more thick than last time. So this is how you get stress rest. Like I said, for some people, it's going to help out if you want to run the game with higher frames. There's not an actual advantage in this game to running the stretch res. It's more or less just only going to be for the frames. So let me go to 1600 by 1080. This is, would be the stretch res I would recommend people to play on. If they need just that little bit of extra frames out of their PC that it won't give them, this is probably the best way to do it other than just downscaling resolution. I hope this guy helped, guys. I'm Kyle. Much love.